Hey, this is Mosquito, also known as Chris. Welcome to the shop. Today, play a little saxophone. Uh, got a bunch of stuff. Gonna tackle the GPUs today, I think. We're going to figure out the dual graphics card vertical mount. We're going to get a hole cut in the back of the chassis and we're going to make it look good. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll, uh, Get on to that part of it. Now that we've got the radiator fitting in there, we've got to talk about how am I going to put two graphics cards in there now, given that I just covered up where the one graphics card went. And, uh, well, I have a lot of options, or I should say a couple of options, and a table full of junk. Holy cow. Uh, let's see here. I'm just looking for... Ah, there it is. So one of my ideas was if I went with these Vega 56s or if I went with those 760s, um, with water blocks on them, I could theoretically turn them into single slot graphics cards. It would have required cutting off a DVI connector and then cutting a I.O. shield or a whatever bracket in half on the 760s. Uh, so not ideal, but I probably would have been willing to do it since I've seriously never used those things. <laughs> and uh, the other option that I had with these 56s is, is when I got them, I bought a pair of these single slot I.O. shields. And so what I was thinking is, if I took these and I put them on those cards, I could use something like either this, I've got that, I've got some of these, I've got... Uh, these two came from MNPC Tech. This one I think I got from Mountain Mods? I, I'd have to look that one up. I don't remember where I got this one from, but these are a lot cheaper. They're just bent aluminum, basically, and uh, obviously a single. So... Uh, yeah, these, I would have had to use two of these if I didn't mod the cards. So these were pretty much out because I didn't have quite enough space to get two of those next to each other. These I really like. And actually when Bill first came out with his, I think it was vertical GPU mount for the end case, I was like, hey, if you ever make those brackets without the fan mount portion of it, I would definitely buy one. So I did. <laughs> and then I bought another one. So these are pretty sweet because these are just, well, they're just vertical GPU mounts. They look pretty simple because they are pretty simple. If you've ever seen one of Bill's stage one, this is a stage one. The stage two has some, some standoffs so you don't necessarily have to cut a hole in your case. But basically, if you see the, the uh, stage one, these brackets are basically just that middle section with a couple of other little holes in them because they came from somewhere else intended for the end case but yeah so I've got two of those so I thought about mounting those side by side but then well then I run into complications because it's not quite spaced out and then I've got to try and line these up with the fan holes or the the fan mesh holes and all that kind of stuff so I I mean I think I could have gotten them to work and one of the riser cards that I was using would have required another set of extensions so that probably could have worked but it wasn't ideal. Then I got this stage one bracket and this would have been in the same boat as one of the other ones. I would have had to go down to single slot, which again, I probably could have done except when I started looking at it, the back plate that's on the Vega 56s and the clear acrylic water block uh, covers, I guess, because they, they come with a just an so oh, what is it? Just a black cover and uh, you can't see through them. So I replaced them with those acrylic ones. I actually had a buddy of mine measure them up. I sent him one of the existing uh, GPU blocks and he traced it all out in SolidWorks. SolidWorks or Inventor? One or the other. And uh, sent me the files and then I actually sent that to Bill and had him, uh, well, Randy, cut out that block top for me so that's how i ended up with clear tops and <laughs> between the clear top and the back plate 
can't actually get them to be single slot. And I probably could have gone without the back plate, gotten some shorter screws, gone back to the original top, at least on the one on the back. But I figured I had the CNC. So let's take this and just blatantly copy it. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't quite copy it because this is a hell of a lot nicer than anything I would have made. But um, so I did. First one I made out of MDF. I think I've since thrown that one away. That was the first prototype. And then I made this one out of acrylic. So you can kind of see it's this, a similar sort of idea where I've got the recess here uh, for the top. So that's recessed in. But then I recessed the bottom because I don't have a slitting saw to make that nice little, uh, you know, that little opening there for the bottom of the GPU. So I just did the same uh, facing on this part. So this is lowered to the same height as that. And then I put a couple of threaded inserts in here. So you just put a couple of screws in and that's what holds the bottom of the GPU in place. So this was my acrylic one. I'd, I understand that'll be kind of a pain in the butt to see on the camera, but that was, I guess you would call it the second prototype. And then I went to the final version. And this is just made out of a half inch piece of aluminum. I was a little bit aggressive on the feeds and speeds, um, a little too aggressive. And so the, the finish isn't necessarily the greatest, but would have, would have gotten the job done. So this works great. It's the exact same setup as that acrylic one, just for aluminum or out of aluminum. But this one would have worked great with the 760s because it's just a square, pretty simple, just nice and easy. The problem with this one is when I switched to the Vega 56s, they're taller. So with this mounted in the lowest position on the fan, whatever, the fan holes for the back of the chassis, they stuck up into where the window needed to be by like a 16th of an inch. So, well, I like this one and I probably could have painted it up to, to hide some of the the chatter. I guess we'll call that plan A. <laughs> so then I decided to go with plan B. So I guess this would be plan B. Attempt A <laughs> or attempt number one. So I uh, forgot to add just a little bit of offset. So I ended up with a nice aluminum drum and uh, also a chip weld over there. So that made its way around. So that kind of Fubard that one. I guess technically I could still finish it if I wanted to. So attempt number two, somehow, I'm not exactly sure how I screwed it up, but uh, got the Z axis height on the uh, spot. Well, that was just an eighth inch end mill, just a spot where I needed to drill those holes. Uh, so it dragged the bit right across. So that's fun. Also, I didn't do climb cutting, so that didn't turn out the greatest. So this one will work. I tested with this one, just sort of, you know, mounted in the chassis and then fit it up with the graphics cards and it gets them low enough. So the only thing is that this one's kind of ugly. So now I think it's time we take my last chunk of aluminum <laughs> and uh, see if we can make a better looking one. All right, so the first thing I do is I start with an eighth inch end mill and just sort of make a little recess for where the four screw holes are that I'm gonna to have to later drill and tap. Then I put in a single flute aluminum cutting end mill quarter inch and I do an adaptive clear to do a kind of a pocket or make a little hole and then I just do a, a contour around the inside and that little adaptive clear hole there is just so that I can have a starting place that I don't have to worry about the, the end mill just plunging in. But I was having an issue clearing the shavings or the chips. So when it gets in there a little ways, I started using the WD-40 just to kind of keep things moving and out of there a little bit. Get rid of that center section while I'm in there. And then I do an adaptive clear on the outside. And I thought about doing just a contour, just kind of doing the, you know, the shape right around that. But I ended up doing the adaptive clear because of that little drop down on the top section there. I just wanted to make sure I didn't leave just a little sliver of aluminum there that I was going to end up crashing into later or something. So 
Then I just do a finishing pass around the inside. Got really, really nervous about all those little aluminum shavings. So I uh, improvised a little filter for the router because they were getting sucked in there and I was getting a little scared. <laughs> so now we're just doing that sort of same finishing contour around the outside just to clean that up. And now I'm doing, I think it's a pocket and it's basically just clearing off, decking the, the top where I mount the GPU to recess that a little bit. And then I come back with a chamfer bit, 45 degree, and uh, put a nice chamfer on it. And now I'm just hitting it with some satin clear. I've already sanded and uh, hit it with a red scotch bite pad at this point, but I decided not to paint these because I think, well, one, I like the brushed aluminum look. And two, I think this will work out pretty well with the rest of the build. I plan on, you know, having the the nickel plated blocks exposed and then the fittings that I'm going with are going to be a stainless steel. So I, I think it'll look pretty good. And I mean, worst case scenario, you could paint over clear coat. So <laughs> I'm just using a couple of coats of this satin. And then we're making a plate to go on the outside to cover everything up. And so eighth inch end mill to bore out some holes that'll be passed through for the screws to go into the GPU mount. Same adaptive clear followed by contour for the inside. Adaptive clear, actually I think I just did a contour on the outside and then a chamfer bit, which is extremely satisfying right about there, <laughs> right as it rounds that corner. Now I have a, a setup with just a scrap of MDF and some sandpaper with some WD-40 for lubrication along with a straight edge. And what this allows me to do is basically just pull that aluminum piece across the sandpaper to get this brushed aluminum look. So here I am in the middle and it's just a way to, to get a, a nice looking finish with straight lines without having to have the proper machines for doing brushed aluminum. And now we just need to cut out the fan mesh, I guess, in the back of the case. All right, so what I just did here is I cut out the mesh that used to be covering the back fan mount. And the reason I did that is because this mesh is raised just a little bit, so it kind of went out. And this is a good idea when you have a fan there because it helps to make sure that this stays up off of the fan because a lot of the wind noise that you hear from fan is is often attributed to something that's right up against the fan blades. Uh, so it just kind of makes a weird whooshing noise. But anyway, uh, not so good when you're trying to put something over it. So because I'm doing the vertical GPU bracket on the back here, I wanted to cut this out and I could have just cut it. So I kind of had some lines marked out here. So I could have just cut out the middle of it and then, you know, put some rubber trim around it or something to just pass through where the GPUs needed to come through. But anyway, I, I liked the look of this better. So I just have this nice little plate, basically, that covers up the hole that I just cut out. So this allowed me to cut out the whole mesh so that I could get this plate flat. So I designed it in a way that it would basically cover the whole area that I needed and then still give me access to the GPU. So I think this will help kind of just clean up the look a little bit once I get everything all put together. All 
All right, well, that's pretty much going to wrap that one up. I am also pretty much caught up, so eh, we'll see what happens going forward. I've been pretty good about keeping things fairly on schedule on this one lately. Um, I think the next things that I'm probably going to start taking a look at is I will see if I do anything extra with this, uh, this little cover plate here for the graphics cards. I might, you know, come up with some other design to put on it. I might put something on the edges that are, you know, just kind of empty at the moment. I don't know. I'm still, still toying around with some ideas and seeing if I can come up with anything that I like. Otherwise I'll probably just end up leaving it blank. But the next thing is probably going to take a little while and I'm not exactly sure how long that little while is going to be because I've got to try and figure out how to put a pump reservoir in there, pump and reservoir or a pump res combo, something. I don't know. There's not a lot of space left to work with. It's kind of all underneath where the power supply goes. So got a couple of ideas. We'll see what I end up going with, but, uh, yeah, I definitely appreciate those of you that stuck around this long. I always appreciate you watching. So until next time, I will catch you later. What do you want? What do I, what should I, I'm going to have this. It's not, nothing jazzy. I don't know what to, Ugh, spit. Ugh.